And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him to the wedding, and the door was shut. <laughs> Afterward, the other virgins came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, As surely I say to you, I do not know. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour in which the Son of Man is coming. He said, Watch therefore. So the Lord, by this scripture, is speaking to his church, the body of Christ, every believer, you and I, every saint, everyone who has believed in the Lord Jesus Christ. He's speaking to us. He said, Watch therefore, for you know not the hour nor the time that the Son of Man will come. He said, prepare yourself. He said, ready your lamp. He said, put some oil in your lamp. He said, refill. He said, refill. Refill. He said, refill. Most of us, our lamps are dry. Most of us, our lamps are dry. Most of us are encumbered by the things of the world. We are busy with our jobs, our careers, our relationships, our connections, whatever it is that we have, that we pride in or we boast in. Remember, many slumbered and slept, and he came unexpectedly. He came suddenly, swiftly, and the door was shut. Like the days of Noah, Noah was calling out to men. He said, come into the ark. And they called him a foolish man. And before they knew it, the flood came suddenly. And many of the whole earth was flooded, and they died. And only Noah, there were eight persons that were saved. Him and his household. May that not be our portion in the name of Jesus. So the Lord is word to the church, the body of Christ universal. He said, refill your lamp with oil. He said, many of you are slumbering and sleeping. He said, it's time to awake. He said, awake to prayer. He said, awake to prayer. He said, awake to prayer. Arise, awake. He said, stop the slumbering, stop the slumber. Awake. Do not allow the world to deceive you and all the worldliness and all the pleasures of the world. Never allow all shine. Those things are perishable things. They are not eternal. They are not eternal. Only Christ is eternal. And the life that we have with him. And in him. So he's speaking to the church tonight. To arise. Refill your lamp with oil. Arise to prayer. Do not arise to arguments. Do not arise to foolish things and foolish talking. Do not arise to sin or worldliness again. Things you already delivered you and brought you out from. He said, do not go back to, 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 to Egypt, to Babylon. He said, stay on your watch. Stay on your guard. He said, watch. For there are so many distractions in the world right now. And the enemy is intentional. The same way God is intentional. It's a battle between the kingdom of light and darkness. The enemy is very intentional and strategic. He knows what he's doing. He's distracting believers all over the place. With all sorts of things. And Jesus is saying to you, stand on your watch. Awake from your slumber. Do not let the Son of Man come and he finds you wanting. Do not let the door be shut against you. We are going to be praying for the church tonight. Asking for the Lord to revive this church. When I say church, I mean you and I, human beings. That's what I mean. I'm not talking about the building, the people. The people, the call that works, those who believe in Christ Jesus, his ministers, his believers, every one of us. We're going to be praying for them. That the Lord will revive us out of slumber and take us back on our watch in the name of Jesus. So that through us as his church, his manifold wisdom, his power, his kingdom, his will and authority, Karabashan dominion, will be established on the earth. Yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. I will move to the second segment, which is the bridegroom is coming. This is for the sinners. Hallelujah. So we're going to be praying for the church. And we're going to be praying for the unsaved tonight. When I say sinners or unbelievers, I mean those who are not yet in Christ. Those who have not yet believed that Jesus Christ came in the form of man. Became sin for you and I. He took upon himself our sins. The sins of the entire world. And he was crucified. And he died. He was buried. And he rose on the third day ascended back to glory. And right now he's seated at the right hand of the Father with all glory all honor, power and authority as the Lord of glory. As the Lord of the victory who has conquered and defeated the world. He said, many of you have overcome the world. Jesus has overcome the world. So I'm speaking to the sinners who are yet to come to Christ. Who are yet to come to the light. Who 
who are still carried away by the world, who still don't believe that Jesus is the Messiah, who still don't believe that Jesus is the Savior, who still do not believe that Jesus Christ has come already and died and salvaged man and went back and is coming back. Those are the people I'm talking to right now in this face, the sinners, the unbelievers who are yet to be in Christ. Hallelujah. So we're going to be praying for the church and then we'll pray for the sinners and ask that the power of the Holy Ghost, who is the convictor himself, will begin to convict hearts from sin and convert them to righteousness. Hallelujah. So turn your Bibles with me to Matthew 22. Matthew 22. Okay. The parable of the wedding feast. So, and Jesus answered and spoke to them again by parables and said, The kingdom of heaven is like a certain king who arranged a marriage for his son and sent out his servants to call those who were invited to the wedding and they were not willing to come. Again, he sent out other servants saying, tell those who are invited, see, I have prepared my dinner, my oxen and fatted cattle are killed and all things are ready. Come to the wedding. But they made light of it and went their ways. One to his own farm and another to his own business. So they made light of his word. They made light of his invitation. And the rest sees his servants, treated them spitefully and killed them. But when the king heard about it, he was furious. And he sent out his armies, destroyed those murderers and burned up their city. Then he said to his servants, the wedding is ready, but those who were invited were not worthy. Therefore, go into the highways, and as many as you find, invite to the wedding. So those servants went out to the highways and gathered together all whom they found, both bad and good. And the wedding hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to see the guests, he saw a man there who did not have on a wedding garment. So he said to him, friend, how did you come in without a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Then the king said to the servants, Bind him hand and foot, take him away, and cast him into outer darkness. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. Hallelujah. The bridegroom is calling everyone tonight. Everyone who has not yet come to Christ. He's calling many, calling the whole world tonight. Deny the invitation of the Lord. Do not make light his word like a did. He said, Come to me, I am salvation. Come to me, I am Lord, I am master. I have overcome the world. Those things you seek, you can find them in me. He says, Seek him first the kingdom of the Lord and his righteousness, and every other thing shall be added unto you. Nothing should take the place of Jesus Christ in your heart. Tonight, this is for you. So we're going to be crying out to the Lord for mercy upon the, upon the unbelievers and asking for their repentance and for their souls to be captured by his love in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So before we go into the prayer proper right now, I'll just need five minutes of your time to play the prophetic voice, to play the prophetic message as the Lord delivered it. Hallelujah. Then after that, we go into prayer. Hallelujah. I just want to enjoy you. Please be attentive to what the Lord was saying through his vessel in this prophetic message. Hallelujah. Because this is the theme song of this prayer move. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah.
And my-
Your spirit is moving in the name of Jesus. It's convicting hearts now in the name of Jesus. And men are turning back to Jesus. Men are turning back to Jesus. Satan is losing them right now. The kingdom of darkness is losing them right now. And I must show you in the name of Jesus. And we restrict and break the hold over the people of God in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Holy Spirit, convict us and save souls in the name of Jesus. And as many as them tonight, God, we declare your grace to sustain them. They will not go back to Egypt. In the name of Jesus. We declare them preserved by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We declare that they will grow in grace. They will stand firm in the faith. They against all odds. Nothing, oh God, even Lamashaya. We draw them back in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Thank you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every of our loved ones that is yet on sin, in families, in nations, even inside the church building, wherever they are hiding, nobody can hide from the Lord. For he's everywhere at the same time. He sees you. David said, even if I make my bed in hell, the Lord is there. God is where you are. Just in case you're hearing my voice, the master says he loves you. He's calling out to you in the name of Jesus. Say, come to me. Come to me for in me you have rest. In me you have life. Come to me. Satan has nothing to give to you. The world has nothing to offer you but sin and death. Judgment and damnation. And I already paid all that for you. So you can be free, set free in the name of Jesus. Lord, we declare your liberty upon the sinners tonight. That they come to life and begin to enjoy the liberty of Christ and in Christ Jesus in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Do that which only you can do in their lives, oh God. We thank you for salvation tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Now we're going to pray out for the church. The church is you and I. We're going to ask the Lord to refill the church. Refill every believer, every true believer. Refill the church of Jesus. Don't say, Jesus, refill your church. Refill our lamb. Refill our lamb. Revive us, Jesus. Reawaken us out of slumber, out of sleep. For those of us who are strayed away, Karabashaya, whose faith is shaken, because of the cares of life, those who are slumbering and sleeping, those who cannot tarry with the Lord, those who cannot dwell in the Lord, even the Lord shine. Lord, we lift up our voices tonight. Join me in faith. Get in the Lord shine. And let us pray for the church of Jesus Christ, the body of Christ, the bride of Christ. Get in the you and I, not the building. You and I, you and I. He died for you and I, not the building. Father, we pray tonight for mercy. Everywhere the church has sinned against you, everywhere the church has strayed away from your will. Anywhere the church has become so opinionated in our generation. Anywhere the church no longer hears the Lord, but they hear men. Anywhere the church no longer follows Jesus, but they follow pastors. Lord, we repent tonight on the behalf of the church. We say, mercy, Lord. We return to you, Master. We return to you, Savior. You are not our Savior in the name of Jesus. Lord, have mercy. Holy Spirit, revive us in the name of Jesus. Revive your church. All over the nations of the earth. In America, in Africa, in Europe, in Nigeria, in Ghana, in Kenya, in Egypt, in Dubai, wherever we have believers, they are the church of Jesus. Lord, let your healing message flow right now to your church. Let your revival fire right now. Makanabashaya, begin to penetrate every heart in the name of Jesus. Begin to awaken men from slumber and restore us back to prayer. Restore us back to righteousness. Restore us back to holiness. Restore us back to looking like Jesus and doing like Jesus and being like Jesus. Until we all conform to the image and the fullness of Christ. Revive us, O God. Revive us, O God. Those who are weak tonight receive strength by the power of the Holy Spirit. Those who are sick tonight, the Lord reaches you in the name of Jesus. We heal it tonight. In the name of Jesus. For He's our healer, He's our Savior. He loves to heal, He loves to save us. It is not His intention that any should be sick. That is good that his church should be sick, but that his church should be whole because he died to make us whole. So tonight, receive the wholeness that comes only by Jesus and through Jesus and by his spirit and his blood in the name of Jesus. Let the cross of Jesus be erected again before you, before all men. Let them remember what Jesus had to go through for their sake. And let them recognize and realize that we are his church by his body. And the body must be in alignment with the head. Our head in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank for redirection because you are redirecting men right now. You are returning men right now. You are reconciling back men right now to you, God. To the faith in the name of Jesus. In divine alignment with your will, God of Ashaya, listening to you, totally submitted in obedience to your will in the name of Jesus. Jesus said, They that love me, I did that do my will. Ask your
Messiah receive it, the one who died for you. God of Ashaya. He said, they that love him in John 14 are they that do his will. The church has to move from the stage of hearing to this place of doing. We have to become doers of the word. Doers of the word in righteousness. Doers of the word in righteousness. Obeying the command of the Lord. Obeying the command of the Lord. Then his power can flow through us in the name of Jesus. His power can Fix 
please do well to send us an inbox and let us know and continue to agree with you in faith and also testify when the Lord has healed you so we can give him glory in the name of Jesus. So that brother who is having a kidney issue, Father, in the name of Jesus, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
Amen. Amen. Thank you for being a part of this. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for connecting with us and connecting with heaven tonight and connecting with the will of the Father in this time, in, our, in this season. Thank you for connecting with it. It's you good and bring you prosperity and bring you advancement. It will not bring you curses. It will not bring you pain or sorrow in the name of Jesus. Those things are rolled away out of your life by Christ already in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive the better promises that the new covenant has provided for us in the name of Jesus. And begin to shine for us light of Jesus on the earth. Begin to shine for the light of Christ wherever you go. Do not be ashamed of the gospel for in the power of God of salvation. Preach the gospel in season. Preach the word in season. Talk to somebody about Jesus Christ. Save them, Lord. Save them in the name of Jesus. Do not keep quiet. People are perishing. Do not keep quiet because Jesus will ask you and I. On the last day, he will ask you and I. In your neighborhood, wherever you find yourself, your colleagues, your classmates, the celebrities, those who are your friends, pray for them, even in your closet. Lift them up in prayer. Even the pastors, the leaders, the church leaders, all over the nation, lift them up in prayer. They need our prayers. Pray in the name of Jesus. Be revived to pray. Carry the fire and the anointing of prayer tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray and stop sleeping. Open your mouth wide and tell somebody about Jesus Christ. And you will receive the reward. Yes, there's a reward for every man in heaven. And even on earth, the Lord will not deny you. He will make provision in the name of Jesus. Every other thing will be added unto you. That's what Jesus said. And so it is. And I trust the Lord on your behalf tonight that you receive every good thing that you see. We're going to ask that those who through the course of this ministration were convicted to repentance to receive the Lord Jesus. My husband will come and lead you to Christ. And please send us an inbox so we can keep in contact and in touch with you. And probably lead you to a, a proper uh, place of worship in the area where you live. So you can be trained, so you can be nurtured with the sincere milk of the word of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What a wonderful time in the presence of our Father. I thank God for what He's doing. Thank God for your life. Thank God for the nations. Father, we begin to declare, oh God, that your, your glory, your power be seen in the nations in the name of Jesus. We declare restoration in the name of Jesus. Let the knowledge of Christ Jesus be seen all over the nations in the name of Jesus. From every continent in the world in the name of Jesus. From one continent to the next in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare that the glory of God be seen in the name of Jesus. The tangible manifest glory of the Father in the name of Jesus. That they will engage in it in the name of Jesus. That they will see it in the name of Jesus. That men begin to live for Christ and Christ alone in the name of Jesus. We rebuke every in the lives of the sons of God in the name of Jesus. We ask your God that you quicken your church in the name of Jesus. Quicken your church, quicken your church in the name of Jesus. Let your church be revived in the name of Jesus. Let your power sweep through your church in the name of Jesus and prepare the saints for your coming in the name of Jesus. We declare that the testimony of Christ Jesus will be the testimony of every saint in the name of Jesus Christ. If you're out there and you can hear me and you can view me I want you right now, if you're not in Christ, you are far. Being in Christ is the best thing that can happen to you. Yes. The kingdom of God is for us to be reconciled back to our Father. That's why the kingdom, that's why the kingdom is there. That's why Christ came. Christ came so that we can be reconciled back to our Heavenly Father. So if you are not in the Father, if you're not in Christ, then you are far. John chapter 3 verse 18 says that whosoever does not believe in the Son is already condemned. But Romans chapter 1 verse, Romans chapter 8 verse 1 says that as many as are in the Son, Jesus Christ, there is no condemnation for them. Who, not, who do not walk after the Spirit, but who do not walk after the flesh, but after the Spirit. So I want to encourage you this evening, if you are watching me, if you have not given your life to Christ, if you've not surrendered yourself to Christ Jesus, this is an opportunity. What you need to do 
is to believe in your heart and then make that confession from your mouth. If you are under the sound of my voice and you can hear me, just say after me right now. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you this evening. I recognize that you are my Father, you are my Lord, you died for me, you shed your precious blood on the cross of Calvary. Tonight I receive you as my Savior. Tonight I receive you as my Lord. I invite you, Lord, into my heart and into my life. I surrender to you. I give all to you. I give myself to you, Lord. And I declare and declare and decree that from today I am submitted to you. My will becomes your will. Your will is what I take upon me from tonight in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask for mercy. I repent of my sins. I repent of my sins. And I come to you tonight. And I embrace you. And I accept you. And I receive you. And Lord, I know that you will in no way cast me out. Thank you, Father, for making yourself available, oh God, for my sins. I receive you tonight. I receive you tonight. I promise not to go back to my past. I promise not to go back to the things I used to do. From tonight, I receive you. From tonight, I belong to your kingdom. From tonight, I enter into the light. I shine for the light of Christ Jesus. And I accept you. I embrace you. From tonight, I give no place to the work of darkness in my life and in my heart anymore. I surrender to you, Christ Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Be thou exalted, Lord. He said that prayer from the bottom of your heart. Tonight, I declare that you are born again. Tonight, tonight, the nature of Christ is in you. Tonight, there's joy in heaven because you have decided to follow Christ. There's joy in heaven. The angels are celebrating because you have been reconnected back to your heavenly father. Now you have relationship with your heavenly father. Now you can pray. And the Father will hear you. Why? Because you are no longer an estranged son. You are no longer an estranged daughter. You are no longer far from the Godhead. Now you are in Christ. Now you are a son of the kingdom. And as many as believed in him and received him, to them he gave power to become sons of the most high God. I declare to you that from today, from tonight, you are the son of the most high God. And because you are the son of the most high God, your father listens to you. You have a relationship with him. The he heaven testifies of your sonship. The Holy Spirit is in you right now. And he's working out everything for a better relationship with the father. Even as you live in obedience. Even as you live in trust. Even as you follow the father. Scripture says, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, those ones are the sons of God. As you are led by the Spirit of God, even as you have received the Son, Christ Jesus, you are led by the Spirit of the Most High God. God bless you. I want to thank you for joining this broadcast. Every third Friday of every month, this broadcast will be on. This broadcast is meant for prayer. Prophetic prayer and declarations over the nations. Just in case you don't know, Christ is coming back again. It, 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 let it not sound as a tale to you. Let it not sound as a story to you. It's a reality. It will sure happen. And this prayer, this, this broadcast is meant to remind you. It's meant to prepare you for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Tap into it. Key into it. Invite your friends. Every third Friday of the month, we gather here to pray and to prepare the saints for the coming of Christ Jesus. If you have any prayer points, if you have anything you would like us to pray about, please send us a mail to GKMI Global Missions at gmail.com. GKMI or GKM Global Missions at uh, gmail.com. I take it again. GKM Global Missions at gmail.com. If you have any prayer point or anything you, you feel that you need to share with us for us to pray about or testimony that God has actually touched you at a particular point or he has met your need or you have a prayer point. There's something that is bothering you seriously and you need us to come together in fellowship and join you and with that force of unity to pray about that situation. Please send us a mail at jkmglobalmissions at gmail.com. We will respond to you and we will take that petition to heaven. And I believe and I trust God that he will hear you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Be 
You can also follow us on www.gkmglobalmissions.com. Dot org, sorry, www.gkmglobalmissions.org. That's our website. You can follow us. Please and please invite your friends, invite your family, so that we can key into this great assignment, into this great work, into this great move of God, which is prophetic prayer, prophetic prayer and declaration of the truth to the nations and to the church. The church of God is sleeping. We are sleeping. We are sleeping. We need to awake. We need to awake to the reality that our master, our Lord and our Savior is coming back again and prepare ourselves. Enough of the games in church, enough of, the, of religion, enough of politics, enough of tribalism. Christ is coming back for a church that looks like him. He's not coming back for a tribalistic church. He's not coming back for a traditional church. He's not coming back for a political church. No. He's coming back for a church spotless. A church that is sanctified and consecrated. A church that is a righteousness. A church that is holy. And that is the reason why this prophetic prayer movement is online. Join. Invite your friends. And believe God because he will touch you at the point of your need. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. We love you. We look forward to hearing from you. We look forward to hearing from you. My wife and I, we love you. On behalf of God's Kingdom Mandate International Global, we say thank you. And we say the peace of God be with you. We love you. And we know that every plan and purpose that God has assigned for your life, they will come true in the name of Jesus. We rebuke the hand of the enemy over your life. We rebuke the hand of the enemy over your destiny in the name of Jesus. And we declare and decree that the kingdom of heaven smiles over you in the name of Jesus. And the purpose of God be made manifest in your life. We love you and we look forward to seeing you again on the third Friday of every month. Third Friday of every month. If I have a prayer request sent to us at GKM Global Missions at uh, 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 gmail.com. God bless you and we love you. We cover you in the precious blood of Jesus and we declare that it is well with you. We cover all the prayers in the precious blood of Jesus, everyone that was ministered to. We declare that you receive your testimony. We declare that you receive your healing and we declare it permanent in the name of Jesus. No enemy from the pit of hell shall steal your testimony or your healing and deliverance. Thank you, Abba Father. Be thou exalted. Have a glorious night. Have a wonderful sleep well, we love you and we see you yet again in another meeting of prophetic prayer movement thank you very much, God bless you the presence and the glory of God be with you now and always in Jesus mighty name we pray amen, we love you, have a wonderful night God bless